Welcome to a tutorial video on Bitsy 8. In this video, I'm going to show how to use the Room Action Swap Palette. So we've previously seen that when we create rooms within Bitsy, we're creating sections of the story. But each room only has its current palette, the three colors available to it. Background, Tile, and Sprite right here over here in the Colors tool. And we see that right here in the current room, Example Room, is using that color palette. However, we've also seen that with room actions, we can change some things as it applies to different rooms. So I started this towards learning how to use the room action to swap palettes by preparing talk to me to switch palettes right here as a dialogue that appears when we interact with the sprite cat. So when we interact with this cat right here, we will see this dialogue. And so what we want to do now is add a room action to swap palettes. However, there needs to be a palette for us to swap to. So the first thing we're going to do over here in the Colors tool is I'm going to go ahead and just duplicate right here, Blueprint into Palette 1. And then I'm just going to change a single color right here, just kind of drag it over here in the pink and purples, just so we can see that. So over here in Dialog, remember Dialog Actions run top to bottom. So let's go ahead and add right here. I'm interested in Room Actions. And then I'm going to click on Palette. So change rooms, current palette two, and then blueprint is the default. So that's blueprint right here. We want to change it to palette one. So right here, change from blueprint to palette one. So let's go ahead and play this. So what we're interested in is when we interact with the sprite named cat, we're going to see the dialog box right here. And as soon as it finishes, notice the palette changed. So the room action allows us to change the current palette, the colors associated with that room as part of a room action. Keep in mind room actions are available as part of any interaction we can have. So they can be part of a sprite or be part of an item. Whatever has this interact, this dialogue tool usage right here. So potentially then if we wanted to, we can add a T right here and then move, break out over here T dialogue and then let's add a different room action, palette change it back to blueprint. So let's play this. So now if we go talk to the cat as part of its interaction. As soon as the dialogue's done, it does the swap palette. Let's go pick up the T. And now we switched back again using its swap palette action right here. In both cases though, we're using a room action, part of a number of different things we've, part we've seen as part of interactions within Bitsy. We can do all kinds of things, change the value of variables, change the value of items, and now also work with room actions. So as a quick review, I did add room action palette, and then I made sure there was another palette to switch to, and of course then from the dropdown switched over to that palette, and as part of interactions we then switched to another color palette for the room. Keep in mind of course that rooms, sections of stories, are limited to those three colors. Potentially, though, if we wanted to do something a little bit strange to wrap up this video, what if we duplicated palette one and then we changed its colors slightly right here? And then every time we do the T, what I want us to do is go to palette one, then room action, palette, palette two, add, room action, palette, blueprint. So what we're going to do here is a little strange. We're going to pick up the T and notice we went right back down to blueprint right here. So keep in mind, these are all played very, very quickly. Palette one, palette two, blueprint, all the way back again to blueprint. So it reset in front of us right here, but we didn't see that effect. So keep in mind, as you're working with swapping the palettes, whatever it ends on will be the final result. But regardless, we now know that we can use room action and palette to swap to another palette as long as it exists. All of which we can do within Bitsy 8. Thanks for watching.